Hola amigos, today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious breakfast sopitos. If this is something that you would like to learn, stay tuned. And if you're ready to cook, vámonos. Here I have all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And as always, all of the ingredients are going to be listed in the description box. I am using some turkey bacon, potatoes, eggs, tomatoes, onion, jalapeno peppers, guajillo peppers, and some uh, chile de arbol. We are going to start by cutting the potatoes. We're going to cut them in small squares. I chose not to peel my potatoes. You can peel yours off if you would like. This is how I want to make mine with the peel on. Next, we're going to cut the tomatoes, the onions, and the serrano peppers. We're going to cut everything in small pieces. And I'm only using two serrano peppers because I don't want my potatoes to be too spicy. If you want it more spicy, add more peppers. To a medium sized pan, we're going to add some oil. I am using olive oil, but you can use whichever oil you prefer. And then we're going to add the turkey bacon. We're going to fry it until crispy. You can use any type of bacon that you want. This is what I like. I like the turkey bacon. And we're going to mix it up, stir it up, make sure it doesn't burn. This is what my bacon is looking like. We're going to let it cook for about five minutes. And here I have it and it's ready. I'm going to remove it from the pan and put it in a bowl because we're going to reuse the same pan to fry the potatoes. Next, we're going to add some oil to the pan and add the potatoes. Make sure that you add some salt to your potatoes as well. Mix everything really good. Add some black pepper and put the lid on it and let it cook until the potatoes are soft. Mine are soft now, so we're going to add some garlic, add the bacon, add the tomatoes, onion, and serrano peppers. And then we mix everything together to combine the flavors. Next, we're going to add the eggs. I am using three eggs. You can use as many eggs as you want. Make sure you add some salt for the eggs. Mix everything really good. Put the lid on and let it cook for about three minutes. My potatoes and eggs are ready now. I'm going to turn the heat off and they are ready to be served. Next, we're going to make the guajillo sauce. We're going to add some oil to a pan and we're going to add all of the chili pots, the guajillo chili pots and the chili de arbol. Add everything to the pan. Make sure they don't burn. You just want to cook them for about 30, 40 seconds on each side. Next, we're going to add the onion and the tomato and we're going to let it roast for about two minutes and then we're going to remove it from the pan as well. And last, we're going to roast the garlic. So I'm using three garlic cloves. Just let them roast for like 40 seconds and then remove them from the pan. Mine are ready, so I'm going to remove them now. And we're going to add everything to the blender cup. We added all of the peppers, and then we're going to add some salt and some water. And we blend. And just like that, we have the guajillo salsa. Next, we're going to make the sopitos. I am using maseca, and I am going to be using about two cups of maseca. This should give me about 10 to 12 sopes. To the maseca, we're going to add some warm water, and then we mix. This is what your maseca should look like after mixing for about three to four minutes. And this is how I'm going to make mine. You see the size of the masa that I'm grabbing? This is, what you, this is how much you need to grab. And I don't have a tortilla prensa, so I am using the plastic to make them, the plastic in a, in a plate. So this is how you will make them if you don't have a tortillera or a prensa. Just use the plastic and the plate. And this is what it looks like. It is nice and round, nicely flat evenly and then we put it on the comal and you repeat the process and i am not going to be frying mine so i'm going to let them cook all the way normally if you're gonna fry them you don't need to cook them all the way and here i have them all ready 
to, to be pinched because you have to pinch them to make the shape of the sopito. This is how many I made. And we get to pinching. Just pinch softly all the way around, just like this, until you get that shape that we need for the sopito. And it's now time to assemble the sopis. I am using some black beans and the potato, eggs, and bacon. I am using some, the, some of the red uh, guajillo salsa and Mexican cheese, queso fresco. And this is what they look like now. So delicious, guys. And now for my favorite part, let's try the sopitos. They, they look so, so yummy. Let me take a bite of this one. They are so good, guys. This is the perfect breakfast when you're craving something spicy Mexican food. And all right, guys, if you made it until the end of the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys on the next one. Adios.